Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free global preset style guide for Divi's Candy Shop layout pack. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So if we take a quick look here, you can see that these are all the elements that we have in our global preset style guide. So what you want to do is to download this. So I'm going to come over here and uh, click and add our email address. So I'm going to add my email address here, click on download, and then we're going to click on download the files. So you can see that this zipped file is here in the bottom left. So all we have to do is to show in Finder. And then we want to unzip it. So I'm going to double click on that. So you can see this has opened up this file called Divi Candy Shop uh, Global Style Guide. And this is a .json file. So I'm just going to drag it over here to the other screen so that we, I can show you how to load this on your website. So over here, I have a website which is ready and it also has Divi installed, which is right here at the bottom. So what we need to do is to navigate all the way down here to Divi and then click on um, Divi library. Next, uh, in fact, you know what? Before we add our style guide, I'm just going to trash this one here. We don't need it. So I'm going to click here on imports and then click on import. Next, I want to make sure that I click here where it says import presets. Now, remember that file that we unzipped. I'm just going to bring it over here. It's in my downloads folder and make sure it's the .json file that you have unzipped from this zipped file. I'm just going to drag and drop it here. You can also do it manually by clicking here on choose file and navigating through the folders. But I just find this way easier. Next, I'm going to hit import Divi builder layouts. And this now is going to import our global presets. All right, excellent. So our style guide here has been imported. So all we have to do now is to create a new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So I'm going to give this page a name and I'll call this candy shop. Next, I'm going to click on use Divi builder. So if you've just started using Divi, you'll get this pop up. So I'm going to say start building. So this only shows once, by the way. So now I have three options. I can either build the page from scratch, choose a pre-made layout or clone an existing page. So what we can see here that is that this is a global preset style guide for the Divi Candy Shop layout pack. Ideally, you want to use the pre-made layout for the candy shop because that's what works with this global style guide. So I'm going to come over here, browse layouts. And I'm going to search for the pre-made layout. Okay, so we're after the candy shop. So you can, actually, you can actually use any of these pages here for your layout. So I'm going to go with this one here, which is just the basic uh, layout. Okay, great. So our page here has been loaded. All I have to do now is to just publish this. Now, the reason why it's important to use this global preset style guide for the DV candy shop with the pre-made layout is because... All these colors here. Now, remember, this is the style guide. It has all the colors that work well together. But what's going to happen here is this is going to save you a lot of time when it comes to designing your website, which I mean, using this pre-made layout. So let me show you what I mean. So over here, you see we have these uh, colors. And if I scroll down, we have all these elements. We also have these visuals. And if I continue on, we have these backgrounds, which you can uh, always use. And our textiles, all our headings are all set up for us. And uh, also our section headings. And further down here, we have the buttons. So let me show you how you can use this. So let's say you want to uh, add a button here. So let me just delete this one here. Okay. So I want to hover over here, click on this plus button and search for my button module. And when you first add your button, in fact, let me snap this over to the left. When you first add your button here, it um, just shows up as the standard DV button preset. Okay, so what you want to do now is if you were to do this manually without the style guide, you would have to go in and design these buttons every single time. So that's not what we want to do. So imagine how many steps it will take to design this button here. But we don't have to do that because we can just come over here to the top and choose our button preset. So here we can choose preset one and you can see we have our button straight away. OK, no need to design. And again, let's say I choose style number two. There we go. We can go for style number three. 
There we go. So let's say I want to go with style number three. I mean, you can just customize your text here. So I'm just going to say click here to download. And uh, I don't have to do much because everything is done for me. Now, what's also exciting here is the colors all match my theme and everything is good. So I'm going to save this and give you another example. So let's say I need to add a heading. So this is going to be our text module. I'm going to select text and then I'm just going to add my text here, which is going to act as my heading. So what's important here is to make sure you highlight the text and set the heading over here. So that's what it looks like, but it doesn't have a design applied to it because this is just your standard heading text, which you get when you use Divi for the first time. But now, because we have a global style guide, we can just come over here to the top and select heading one, just like that. And now you can see we haven't spent time going in, trying to design this, adding colors, uh, line heights, and even choosing the font. So all this is designed for us. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that we can uh, go in and customize and so on, but we're not going to go through each and every one, but I can just show you quickly how easy it is to use this layout and design all your elements on your page. Now let's do another one. Now this is going to be an email opt-in. So uh, I'm going to add it right below here. So let's search for email opt-in. I'm going to select it. Again, this is the standard one. And this, to get it to where we want, is going to take you at least 10 or 15 minutes, right? But we have our presets over here. So I can just go in and choose that one. And you can see here it has, you know, updated, which is really, really awesome. So all I have to do now is to go in and change the text. So let's say I went into the presets. I wasn't supposed to do that. OK, so let's say you are not really interested in the text here. You can just get rid of it like that. And now all you have are your email opt in boxes. And further down here, you can actually go into the fields and you can disable the last name or even the first name. And all you have is this. But what is important here is your buttons. The style of this is all designed for you. So take a look here at the main article and uh, go through this article and see the designs that we have here. And this is going to help you decide what you're going to use as you're designing your website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.